यू नो इट्स लाइक अ बून टू हैव योर बेस्ट फ्रेंड स्टेइंग टू हाउसेज अवे एंड हाउ कन्वीनियंट इट इज नाउ दैट वेन एवर आई डोंट फील लाइक कुकिंग आई जस्ट टेल मिश टू वॉट इज देयर एट होम आई एम कमिंग टू इट Kakima is anyways there. <laughs> to give you that. And I'm sure, like, there will be vegetarian food for you too. I, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just sing the कहानी घर घर की का music? And that's the dhoda you are carrying, right? For give. Yes. Which he liked. I hope it stays for give because I have a feeling Mishtu will finish it off before and only. I know. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Oh, looking so pretty. Look at you, the sunshine. Hello. Hi baby. Hello. Hi baby. Hello. Hi baby. Hello. Hi baby. Hi baby. Hey show, hey show, hey oh! Mm -hmm. Now he will not give me bow. Dan more loves Chetan more. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. He will get the toy. Finally, found some time to have dinner with you guys. It's all the rehearsals going on. Thankfully, and we are like ravenous. Oh. Like we did not eat lunch. Oh, uh, there's a lot. <laughs> Debu, bring all the starters. Come, Tango. Hey show, hey show. Hey, Kane. You can do what you want. Abhishek. Come. Loves. Um, uh, why did you forward that video of mine to everyone? Mm. Which video? I am loving one fact. Huh? The fact that I'm doing my channel, you guys are doing your channel. Uh, <laughs> you are breaking paths with uh, you know the whole LGBTQ thing, and you guys are like um, like icons, icons or icons? Icons. Uh, icons uh, for everyone. And I remember a time when I met you almost twenty years ago. And you used to tell me that uh, uh, one day you want to get married, one day you want to get settled down, and I, I I wish that for you, but I was a little scared. I will not lie. Ki how will that happen? And look at you now. But you are now an example for everyone. So and I and and, and when it comes to YouTube journey, you have yours. In my case, I am breaking the expectations. Like people come with expectations. Oh. You come from the Shankar family. This is how you're supposed to be. Why will you tell me how I'm supposed to be? I'm an individual human being. I might not even like everybody in the Shankar family. I like some. I don't like some. And I know there'll be controversy with me saying this. I'm not going to get into details. But I've decided to be genuine on my channel, and I'm going to stick with that. And. Uh, That's why I I really wanted you guys to come. Like Abhishek has been my friend for so long. He's been my bestie. He's been with me uh, throughout See, time. Dekha, 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 dekha. Uh, times where I couldn't talk to anyone, and he was there. He saw um, potential in me when I was like this fat, body shamed, and compared to my family members. And then I was like, you know what? I'll do my thing. Take it or leave it. So that's something that he really kind of uh, like. I should not go out of the house. Well, he would have a lot of extra uh, cloth. That time I remember, I don't didn't even have my own brand. Yeah, I used to work. So there used to be these extra kapra, kapra, whatever he would make, and he would make me these outfits, and he would come and give it to me and say, "Hey, Baba, now I've made this for you. Now you have to come out with me." <laughs> so out of guilt, I used to go. <laughs> also. Uh, when everybody signed me off, just because I was a big girl and I was not leading my life according to how people think I'm supposed to, he had faith in me that I'm going to do something with my life. That is not so common uh, with people. So, anyway, go talk here about the new guys. When you guys met, like which year? Two thousand four or five, I think. Four or five. Yeah, two thousand five. Two thousand twenty, twenty-three. So how many years? Twenty nineteen. Close to twenty years. Nineteen years. 19. Yeah, yeah. So it's almost two decades. Huh? Uh, almost. Two almost. Two right, almost. right. So I just wanted to first ask you, what did you find so funny about this video? No, you when I prepared. want to, when I prepared, you should have seen me. Mama, that he wrote, you would have left. Tell me one thing. Why did you 
Uh, I a lot of people. Hey, 50, 60 people. Like, what I you want, Moni? I was just being honest. Very well, she says all that, uh, all the sex words, no? Sex oh words, I don't say. Because I, knowing Mishtu, knowing you, you purposefully took out all the makeup items which had those sex words no. and you did the so video with them. No, so I tell you what, them. this video was you, about people telling me to recreate the look that I did during, uh, when I was in Dubai, okay? So I used the same things. So you you had to use a lipstick which is called Pussycat. No, it's just some for you. <laughs> you <laughs> your highlighter had to be called Orgasm. Oh, okay, your your blush. blush or whatever. I don't My remember mascara that. Was your sex. mascara was better than sex, and I and I told to her one friend. Okay, she has done this purposefully, <laughs> knowing her. She is laughing at herself. You're not lying. She's I, I tell you what, I'm, I'm not lying about this. It's the truth. When I used all these things, people would not bother about why I'm using the particular thing. I'm using it because it's a good brand and it's a yeah. good product. You don't have to use the same product as me. You can use something similar because I share technique. But they were like, powder, palette and numb, naked palette. <laughs> Your mascara is called better than sex. I'm like, I didn't name them. I don't want to lie to you about what I'm using. You know, <laughs> in this context, I, I you know I would say ki, like we were talking about as to how far our friendship goes. <laughs> so, in my most flamboyant, gayest phase, probably like you, you know where I out. where I straightened my hair and I would wear no, you print, came to me printed pants. He came to me and said, Vishu, I want to straighten my hair. I'm like, okay, I will do, get you to do it. Get it out of your system. <laughs> but later. You need to be like toned down. I took oh, them to a parlor where they don't allow men. Oh god. I sat with them for five oh, hours. No, five hours, yeah, yeah. But you are yes, yes, yes. And uh, you know, this is the time that you know I used to wear huge floral printed pants. Shiny. They were made out of children's curtain uh, material. material. Oh, Shiny silk shirts, pointed shoes. You know. Dude, I'm, I have gifted him pointed shoes. Okay. And and this is a time like you know I used to say ki, you know I want to do this and you know she would take out a mascara. I had like, to take out a mascara. Oh, oh. And my uh, my <laughs> other other girlfriends they say. You've got a battery operated mascara. Yeah, I got him an Estee Lauder. <laughs> and, and then I think... Which is to vibrate. And this I, the best one that She time. got me a lip plumper also. And Listen, and like, he's never satisfied. Lip plumper, what it does, Chetan, it just gives you a little tingly feeling. Your lips look a little... Puffy. Puffy. Okay. He put it, he calls me and he says, Why am I not looking like Angelina Jolie? <laughs> no, because... This is a lip... Makeup. This is not lip surgery. surgery. <laughs> okay. Because I was thinking like, it would transform my lips like that. <laughs> Why am I not? And like, after applying it, though it's not made much of a difference, I was like, fine, I'll still keep doing. <laughs> 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 and I was telling, I'm and then I introduced him to something called illuminating cream. I was trying to tone him down, to uh. slowly move him out of makeup uh -huh. because. Though he was a gay boy, he's a very happy gay boy. He's not someone who wants to be a girl. Yeah. And not everybody understands that. Exactly. You need to be classy. The whole idea of applying makeup or, you know, to to enhance your looks or to look better or that, you know, pictures <laughs> come out nicer or whatever. And like nowadays we give so many TV interviews or whatever. And, you know, they're, 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 we are actually applying makeup. And I actually tell them, ki like, no, this is too much. Tone it down. Tone it Tone down. It down. Okay. Tone it. Wipe wait, it off. Wait. Wipe off a little. Before, when I used to put mascara for it, first though he can't see you. The rest of me. He would. Okay. I need to show this on that wall. So imagine Abhishek has gone to buy a sunglass. How many times have you come with me when I wanted to buy a pair of sunglasses? Well, first I had to learn not to laugh. Because uh, you can't see anything without your specs. You should have worn your lenses. You didn't. Ask you take your chashma off after you choose the sunglass. And Im imagine this is the sunglass store and this is the mirror. You wear the sunglass and then you look at yourself like this. <laughs> and then you say, it's so hot. And I'm like... What is he doing? Is he going to kiss the mirror? Uh, by the way, uh, I have to tell you guys a story about Mishtu. This is really funny. 
so uh, i think uh, we had known each other for around four five years by that time and uh, and uh, i was single for quite a long time okay for maybe a stretch of one and a half two years and this became a major matter of concern for mishtu yeah so i was like I, how is it how he's so loving he be should be with someone single okay and in our common friends group Uh, there was a guy whom we suspected to be bisexual who also happened to be mishtu's ex ki <laughs> <laughs> ki <laughs> so mishtu had this plan of somehow you know hooking me up with him you no know, we we had uh, all I like he was ex otherwise it would have been like bachpan ka confused hui koi bachpan ka confused boyfriends hota hai na waisa hai and uh, we had gone out clubbing okay and there were other friends also and we were all like down and three four pegs and we were all little high and dancing and everything and suddenly mishtu wanted me to kiss that guy okay okay what he did what she did was she jumped between the two of us took our heads and just banged our heads like that now kiss okay oh and this other guy he was about to sip his drink and my glasses went and banged my specs specs basically went and banged into his glass and my specs broke in and the then he was blind night club at 1:30 or 2 o'clock in the morning and i am completely blind without my specs okay so <laughs> this guy only had to drive me back home at 2 o'clock in the morning i took out my spare specs and came back to party but my intention was okay. good and and next morning and i said mr do you remember what you did I just wanted to kiss you guys to kiss ya. Yeah. I thought we want to kiss you guys will start dating. Yeah, I thought we were I thought I just wanted Abhishek to find a nice guy and get married yeah. <laughs> you guys kiss or not? No. No. Kiss up with. Never. Bend. But anyways you were blind at that time you would have kissed. And I don't think he was bisexual also. Oh. Okay, it was all on on the basis of an assumption. I couldn't be because I was laughing. Why? Because after all the names that she took, all the sexual names of her makeup. That's not my name. Her I didn't name it. Her shampoo and her conditioner is called milkshake. <laughs> I'm wondering, <laughs> we gonna, does she actually pick pick these things hey, up for the name? Hey, give me volume <laughs> for the name. I got volume. How you guys met actually? Oh my God, dangerous question. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually. I I, I want think, to know the details. I think that was 2004 or five. I don't remember. Who In 2005, yeah, oh. we met at a common friend's birthday. Okay. so uh, she was my junior from nift and uh, she was also mishtu school friend and she had invited me to her place for her birthday and that's when i met her and uh, i think uh, post that uh, life was a little different for me and <laughs> she was meeting me all the days life ah yeah absolutely like i entered her room okay and she had a big room with a big bed and i see all everybody huddled on the bed some people sitting on the floor some people dancing like a usual home birthday party scene and uh, mishtu making drinks for everyone okay <laughs> so that everyone is happy and she was like and i'll i'll describe you how she was and she was like very beautifully done up face like you know like red lipstick i remember and very nice voluminous blow dried hair but a huge girl in a men's kurta which must be a triple xl and a black kurta <laughs> and track pants but trust okay. me her hair and makeup was so beautiful cuz nothing fit me yaar her hair and makeup was so on point but i don't think anybody <laughs> i don't think anybody would actually look at what she's wearing or would be bothered by her size like and that's the first time we met and once we started talking i think we immediately took over so it's it was like 3 or 4 months after we met at the friend's house for the first time and we used to meet for coffee or go out for lunches or dinners once in a while and then one day we were all sitting at a restaurant i think uh, mokam okay, uh, for lunch or dinner where uh, this friend of mine pulls out a newspaper and shows uh, uh, mish to the coverage of an event where her mother was there for the jury and they talked about her sari and you know fun yeah yeah you know as, as to how she is known for her crisp cotton sarees and beautiful tassars and all that 
and then I saw the picture and I saw that she is actually Tanushri Shankar's daughter and I was so annoyed, <laughs> irritated with her that all these days she never told me that. Dude, who meets someone and says, hi, you know who was my father, <laughs> who knows who's my and mother, who does that? Yeah. In three months it was established that he's my genuine friend, doesn't matter. Exactly. My parents Any are. Bengali would know who the Shankars are, and I remember going back and telling uh, my Grandma. grandmom that you know she is you know mama, you know who Mishtu is actually. She's like, Mani? like who, who whose daughter <laughs> she is, <laughs> and she is like, I don't know. It's like you never told me. I said she's Tanushri Shankar and Anandu Shankar's daughter. She's like. She also reacted the same way. <laughs> like, I didn't Why didn't you tell me all this? Why? I'm telling her I only got to know today. <laughs> that that to also do. proved to me, Chetan, that he was my genuine friend hmm. uh, without bothering about my background. Exactly. Because for me to find real friends in life has been tough. I've lost old friends, uh, new friends have come, this, that. People would be friends with me to be introduced to my family. I didn't know who to really trust. And this guy is connected. I, I mean, it's not something I hid on purpose. He just didn't come up. I mean, he didn't come and tell no. me, you know, my dad is this big professor. And who does that? All these days, Mishtu had told me, ki, you know, we should come home Monday, come home Monday. Somehow it was not happening, you know. And But we met often. Yeah, yeah, we would we would go to the club or we would go out for a coffee or, you know, we would probably chill at some other friend's house. Yeah. Like, and then, like, when I actually came to her house for the first time, not only did I meet Kakima, but I also met her five lovely dogs. bunch of five oh, dogs, which is kind of jumped at me from <laughs> all sides. And that was a different experience altogether. So, yeah, that's how it all happened. No, it's very important for me to... Uh, it's difficult for me to find friends in Kolkata, to be honest with you. Uh, even when I was a kid, people, uh, I mean, uh, people in my school, uh, my students in my school were like coming with preconceived notions about who I am. And what I was uh, developing with Abhishek was so organic and refreshing, it didn't even strike me. I mean, who does that? Hi, Abhishek, you know who I am. I was no one. And I didn't want to give him my introduction based on what my family is. So here I would like to say ki like nowadays also when somebody actually gets to know that you know I am so close to them, like to Mishtu and to Kakima, and they say, Oh, you know, you know them. And in my mind I think I go to that house and eat Dalbat every day. <laughs> <It's> like that. <laughs> You people are not going to eat dinner or we what? We were waiting for you. Waiting for me? Okay. <laughs> I've had my dinner. My daughter's organized my dinner in the room. I think you all should start eating now. I don't know what all your daughter has cooked. Well, she's been sending me videos very, all Very, very yummy food. No, and then she also tells me ki, uh, Initially, I could only, I would only cook non-veg. Now with Chaitanya, I have to cook veg also. <laughs> <laughs> Good, she's learning to do both well. By the way, your daughter thinks that I am the daughter you never had. She thinks right. <laughs> <laughs> so, what all is there for dinner? Um, do you want me to tell you? Oh, or we'll you just figure it out. Figure on the it table. out, <laughs> and uh, you know. Experience. God. Kakima, you remember uh, when the lockdown was oh announced? Oh God, oh my God. Don't even remind me. <laughs> and I, Such a nightmare. I, I remember, uh, none of us, I think, we just knew as to what is going to happen. What are we going to do sitting at home? Uh, things were going online and markets were shut. I didn't know how, what online was and, at, that, at that juncture. And I remember you used to call me and say, Ki I, I'm saying, ordering food. Ordering food. Food is in not, not food ready to eat, but grocery. Yeah. And I think it was a boon that we were just next to each other. Absolutely. Just like one house away. Apart. Yeah. And those 
first six or seven months, uh, I don't know, like since I stay completely alone, like without yeah. any family or whatever. I don't think I don't I, I don't know what I would have done with without you and Tango for the evenings. Yes, exactly. okay. For me, it was like uh, this house became like a bhoot bangla, you know, because there's so much of activity happens here, and suddenly everything stopped. No students. No students. No nothing. And the whole house, you know, upstairs was closed. The ground floor was locked. And, and there was a, there used to be a weird silence. Silence, absolutely. Crazy and no was. car sounds, nothing. And, and the worst thing was, the worst thing was, that there was no one to talk to. That's why I saw this call you up and said, <laughs> what are you doing? I said, put on two masks and come over. <laughs> and, and mornings I used to cook. And then I used to clean the house. And then I used to do utensils. And then 3, 3.30 I remember I used to take a bath. And just to be still in the routine, I used to actually take out a good set of clothes, you know, and then <laughs> where am I going? I'm just coming to Kakima's house to have my evening coffee, okay? And uh, I remember I had around 80 or 90 packets of Maggie at home. Wow. <coughs> he yeah, was yeah. hoarding because he thought, in because case we don't no, get no, he food. He sent me pictures of fruits where I thought he's a fruit seller, wholesaler. No, <laughs> because... Because I was blindly following that time whatever the doctors were saying. And then the, this everybody started saying he have lots of vitamin C. Vitamin C. So I, I think... Musambi. The, Musambi. <laughs> then I had... I, it was not funny. I had 300 Musambis at <laughs> tomorrow. There's no Musambi in the market. Okay. Okay. And, and then like... Then after a week, Kakima said, Abhishek, if you're coming to my house, don't get Musambi juice. Mishtu would also be so paranoid sitting in Bombay. Okay, and she used to always tell me, Abhishek, I hope you have not met anybody. You're going to meet Ma today. I hope no friend is dropping in. I hope you are not letting any maid come into your house. You're going to meet Ma. You're going to meet Ma. You're going to meet Ma. I yeah. said, no, I'm not meeting anyone. And I think we were three or four months into the pandemic and then um, oh, fun fun struck. God, oh, yeah. don't even remind me about that. That evening, was, I think, I think that was that, crazy. That, One that, of the most craziest nights. Then the rain started. Once the rain started, I was sitting with my legs up on the dining table chair. For some reason, I just put my foot, foot down. down. And here I would like to add that I stay on the ground floor of a house, okay? When I put my foot down, I put my foot down in water. I took my valuables. My I think it's just a pair of clothes and... And just an extra brush. pair of clothes, not even toothbrush. I, I think forgot toothbrush. to bring toothbrush. Just the water was still my chest. I waddled through the water and by that time Sarkida was already down, opening yeah. the gate. One great thing that I learned from you, was no point in stressing unnecessarily. Thank God you learned that. But anyways, now forget the pandemic. Okay, I have to tell you that I've started working on Mishtu's... Yeah, yeah. Actually, I'll tell you, we are performing on the 14th. And uh, we the living, we are doing. And you've done fabulous costumes <laughs> for that. Thank you for doing that. And uh, yes, Those what does your friend, your crazy friend, Miss Perfectionist... Actually, has advised you, you know, to do for her. I have done so many costumes for so many productions of yours. But We The, the Living, we the living is, is always going to be one of my closest to my heart basically because of the, you know, I, I think people who have seen We The Living, yeah. they will only f feel understand. the goosebumps. They when can you, understand. When Why? you see that whole, that whole all white production. And uh, every time, every costume of Mishtu, she throws a challenge at me. <laughs> and this time, the challenge was like, you know, Abhishek, you have made costumes like Radha for me, and you've made Peacock, that Peacock yeah, dance, beautiful. and, you know, We the Living mm -hmm. for that reason. Now she has thrown me a challenge that, you know, she wants a one colored outfit and with no breaks in yeah. between. And so I'm, I'm, I'm trying to cook yeah, up something. Yeah, she's right because it has got to match with the others. Yeah. Like and I tell her, ki, it's like, you know, that day, other day I was scribbing to her, ki, why do you always let me do this in such a short span of time? She said, don't tell me, go tell Ma. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about my wedding? Uh oh, uh, okay, hello, come here. If you uh, both remember, 
that I made a special trip of coming back from London yes, exactly. to yes. be present at your wedding. And I think it's a fabulous moment that you both have, uh, you know, you both had the guts to take the step. And uh, yeah, it's fabulous, fantastic. And you will not believe it. Mr. Amake, uh, she called me up and she said, hey, listen, I'm wearing a red sari just because, you know, if there is any problem, okay, yeah. I will quickly move one of you guys. I'll sit down and, you know. Just to save the situation. <laughs> As a bride, I couldn't. That time I was also a little stressed, but yeah. I couldn't stop laughing. Yes. <laughs> fingers crossed. You know, fingers the crossed. World. Yeah, the world, everywhere, everywhere. Because, you know, I've, you, and, you know, you both have, shown the path to a lot many. I mean, someone had to do it. So, Kakima, yeah, after the wedding, like um, when it when the pictures went viral and everything, will not believe it. I have got messages and DMs, like my inboxes on Instagram, Facebook Messenger, and somehow like even my WhatsApp number kind yeah. of got floated, okay, from unknown and remotest corners of villages okay people have messaged me like they said ki you give us courage if not to fight a revolution but at least get out to our own parents and talk to them ki this yes. is what i am so that's a great so, example that you both have set so it's like you know uh, somewhere deep down i told chaitanya chaitanya yes this made us famous but then I remember that Spider-Man dialogue, you know, which happens ki, like, you know, with great powers come great responsibilities. Right. True. Somewhere I feel uh, me and Chaitanya both, we did what we wanted to do, but yes. then unknowingly we have like such a huge social ripple, responsibility went, you know, yeah, on our yeah. shoulders now and uh, which is I, great. Which is and and, and I, I don't know whether I'll be able to do justice to so many people looking up to us and you know see uh, at least you know um, it's not about you all doing the justice it's about all of you coming together yeah yeah it's to uh, you know make everybody understand that this is this is a normal life so to break through of course you know, this has to be somebody or the other to break through okay enough is enough <laughs> now i think you got, you people have to eat i'm feeling I mean, hungry already she's cooked so many savere se khana hi paka rahi hai and my dad's mutton recipe yes with with flo mutton floating in mustard oil <laughs> and potato. i want to and add potato. something i want to add something guys love is love It doesn't matter if you love a boy or a girl. It's just love. Love is a universal language. Follow your heart because um, it's actually natural and people are in denial. Everything about life is not about procreating children. If you want to have children, you can actually adopt and give that child a life. Correct. And the, the relationship that I've seen with Abhishek and Chetan are way, way, way more healthy than a lot of straight couples. This mutton recipe, which Mishtu's cooked for me today, is actually a recipe my dad used to cook. And I'm not going to use the fork and the spoon to eat this. Right. I'm going to eat with my hands. And this is just divine. It's heaven and it brings back my dad's memories to me. So let's start. How you like the aloo dumplings? Amazing. Love it. I'm going to give you some more. Oh, I already no, shut it. up. Oh, please. I'm a Bengali. I learned just from one, my nani. Just one piece. Of no, my nani taught me, <laughs> if you don't make that person sick, it's not... Um, oh, God. Just one. 